Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to change your mesh filter on your foam cannon. So here we go. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and take out this pin here. Um, and this, this holds the spray nozzle in place. And so get a screwdriver, a really tiny one, and you can pop it out. Uh, just be careful that you don't uh, stab yourself when you're taking this out. So go ahead and pop this out and then you can pull it out the rest of the way. Um, and then you can take the spray nozzle off. So now it's just being held in by a gasket. So you, all you have to do is just pull and it should come off. So here we go. Just give it a yank and it should come off. And then what you wanna do is take your crescent wrench and take off, uh, loosen this front piece here. So you can do it right here or on the actual long part for my particular foam cannon. So go ahead and crack that open and your mesh filter or your foam maker will be inside. So once you unscrew that, then you'll be able to see the, the mesh filter. So, so there you go. There's the mesh filter. Um, you know, usually it's, if it's clogged, this is why you'd want to change it. So go ahead and take your screwdriver and you can just pop it out from the back there. Uh, my particular screwdriver wasn't quite long enough. So I use my pin to give, give it more length. So like this and just put it right in there and then you pop out the mesh filter. And then once you've done that, go ahead and take your new mesh filter and go ahead and put that in place. So put it down and make sure it's seated all the way down in the you know correct spot here. And then screw it back on. and then go ahead and tighten it and make sure that the two blades are parallel to the air knob at the top. So obviously that way when you're using it, it's everything is lined up and not like crooked. So here's me showing it. So yeah, the blades need to be parallel to the air knob. Then go ahead and put your spray nozzle back on and make sure it's seated all the way. So go ahead and push it down and make sure it goes over the gasket there. And then put your pin back in. So basically when you look at your pin, you'll, you should be able to see all the way through like that. If you don't, that means that it's not seated all the way. So you need to push it a little bit farther and then go ahead and put the pin back in. I just use my crescent wrench to hammer it back in. You can use a hammer if you want. Um, and then what I did is I just use my screwdriver to seat it, uh, make it flush basically. So just be careful you don't stab yourself when you do this last part. And that's basically it. So I hope the video helped you. If it did, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.